Well then, how's it going? I've uh, got a, a bit of a different video today. I'm not showing you off something that I've painted. I am going to do an unboxing video. So I'm, uh, I feel really lucky to have these. We have got the Space Marine Heroes. Wave 3. All the way from Japan. As you can see, this one's already open. Uh, I did start making a video yesterday, but the light was terrible. Because um, I got them really early in the morning because I've been on nights. And then um, the video wasn't all ready, so I decided to make it today. So, yeah, uh, proper, uh, proper chuff. Thanks uh, so much to Masaki in Japan for uh, going and picking them up for me, and shipping them over here. You know, it, it didn't take any commission money for them. These all together cost me a lot of money to get. It probably cost me about £100, uh, but the price tags are on them. So I think it was like 70, 70 quid. Is it 70 quid? I think it was about 70 pound for the models. Then it was 10 pound for the postage. And then I got slapped with a 22 pound import charge. Uh, and it did put it down as a gift. And I still got slapped with an import charge. So, but yeah, anyway. So let's get this one opened up. This one is the, with the paints. That's the Malignant Playcaster. So, open it up. So there's a card with his name on, but there's no way I can read that. There's a bit of backstory on the back about him as well. So if anybody can translate that, I'd really appreciate it. That'd be sweet. Um, we've got. Um, well, I'm gonna guess this is the. Japanese warm stores. So, bit of a book. With, uh, so look at the book so you can see it. So it's all in Japanese. With the characters in that are in the wave. So I think that's a Lloyd. I'm not sure. Um, you got the Icon Bearer. Got a Guard of Mace. They look really cool, man. They look proper sweet. Go with a plague spewer, a guy chucking a grenade, and this dude here, yeah, they look nice, man. I'm looking forward to getting these all painted up. And there's a pretty good painting tutorial on the back as well. Um, proper step by step guide on how to paint them. So, got that. And there we go, this is a model. So it comes with two heads. Uh, can you see his head? So you've got one head there, he's got like a um, chainmail mask on. And then you've got another head there, that's his face, I've not decided which head to use yet. But these, interestingly, are actually made in the UK. So, it actually says on the bottom of the plastic, made in the UK. So these have come from Nottingham, which is probably 150 miles from me tops, all the way to Japan. Then back from Japan, all the way back here. And these are the paints you get in this set, and which is it's a pretty good set to be fair, you know. I've got all the paints myself, so I'll, uh, I'll just read out on the back of the box which paints you get. I'll set them out of here. Um, so the paints you get, you get Lead Belcher, Moinfang Brown, Dawnstorm, Rackham Flesh Shade, Balthazar Gold, Abaddon Black, Screaming Skull, Agrax Earth Shade, Death Guard Green, Rekar Flesh, Nurgling Green, I don't know if I've got Nurgling Green, actually. Uh, and the like Oxide, that little tentacle colour, which is pretty cool. Uh, you also get like a starter brush. But yeah, that's just the back of the box for those that are interested to see it. So, let's get, I'll get this put away, then none of it gets lost, because I would be absolutely wounded if that happened. I'll just put my phone on airplane mode as well, then nobody rings me up. I can't do it. Oh, yeah, I can. So, so, let's get these open. As you can see, they're still in the silver frame wrapper. Uh, these cost, oh, sorry. The price on these is 4,800 4, yen, uh, which I think was 
35 quid. Thereabouts, thereabouts. And the price for the uh, blade caster was 5,000 yen. So, I see, see how much they cost. So there it goes, it says, you know there, six to collect. I've never had any of the Space Marine heroes before. You've got like little uh, pictures of who they are on the side. So let's get them cracked open. I'm just going to craft now. Opened up. We got damage in it. Um, Proper hope that all the uh, six of them are in. So there we go. Six boxes. Let's see what we're getting them. So they all have the picture of this guy on. On the back, it's all the picture of him. So distributed by Max Factory. Never heard of them before. Let's open this one up. Which one have I got to get in? This one is... The guy chucking a grenade. So you see he comes with two heads as well. Got a little Nurgle in there. With uh, grenades stood in front of him when he's waving. <laughs> so have a look what else we get in the box. So again, we've got another uh, card with his name on. A bit more about him on the back. Another card with the um, store details on. And what have we got here? I'll just start to put it together. I like how they all come on like texture bases as well. Like I'm not only a fan of texture bases, I normally put my own bases on, nothing too fancy. You know, you've seen them. But uh, these are pretty good. We've still got the footprint in it as well. So that's that guy. Box number two. like the Lord dude so <laughs> see I think I'm gonna use him as a, um, a champion because what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get the other box of seven plague marines I'm also gonna get the plague marine champion and then one of the plague marines out of that box I'm just gonna make into a generic marine so then I've got four squads of seven marines because I thought that looked pretty sweet you know I really don't like duplicates at all so to be able to have um, Four full squads without doing any converting will be yes. So, yeah, this guy's a champion here. There's his two heads. Does he have a Nurgle? Yeah, he does. It's like uh, firing a gun out of his stomach. Maggots in it, like a maggot cannon. <laughs> Same again, his card with his name. That's it, if anybody wants to uh, translate these for me, that'd be sweet. Put that on the back. Box number three. Put this box over here. So like I said, I know these one day will come out over here, but I just really wanted to get them. Uh, 
Who's this one? This one is, which one's this one? Can't figure out which one this one is. Uh, someone set us up. Alright, yeah, it's that guy with like the skull head. That skull head looks awesome, I think. The guy that's firing the bolt her. And where's his head? Yeah, he's, he's either got a helmeted head or where's the skull head? There it is. That's like a, the detail on that head is incredible. I don't know if you can see it. Where is it? There. That looks good. I'm gonna have fun paying that. He's, he's definitely getting that head. So, oh, let's say again. His card with his name. Bit of, uh, bit of stuff about who he is. Box number four. Good so far. I think I've got them all, but I don't know. Watch me put a curse on it now. <laughs> Get a duplicate. This is the guy with, oh that's the uh, icon bearer, that's the guy with the icon. So like I said, the detail on them, they're really good detail, you know. Not too many mold lines either, you know, they're pretty, they're pretty good. The bases are great. There's his heads, got one there, and one there. Let's have a look at his card, where does I put his box now? Same the icon bearer. Uh, number five. So I forgot to get left. I've got the guy with the plague sprayer, and I've got the guy with the mace to get. I've got the guy with the plague spear, sprayer, spewer, plague spewer. Got another little nerglin there. Like, uh, I don't know what he's doing. He's like pointing at something. It's one of his help. That's one of his heads, and the other head. Oh, it's looking uh, side, looking sideways. But he's going to get the other head because there's a lot more detail on that. Or does he get the plague spew in? Um, I don't know about that one. I actually like that one as well. So if you do us a favor, write in the comments uh, which head you think I should put on each model. Um, some of them I've already picked, but like this one, I actually can't pick because his head will look good on another marine. So if you could do that, I'd really appreciate it. And I'll get you his card with his name that I can't tell you what it is because I don't speak Japanese. Yeah, that uh, that head looks pretty cool on that model, to be honest. Oh, it's like eating. The Nerglin's eating. The, uh, the uh, what's the word for it? Like the pus that comes out of the, uh, the gun. <laughs> I'm worried about him there. So I've got one more left to open. So if this is the guy with the mace, I have got the whole set. So let's have a look. And we have got da, 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 da. Oh yeah, it's the guy with the mace. So there's actually a bit of mace on the floor. There's a Nurgling, there's his head, there's his other head. So there we go. That's the full set of the Space Marine Heroes. 
all the way from Japan. Uh, no duplicates. So if Games Workshop know which ones they're putting them in, if, if they can put a box out with all six in, there must be a way of finding out which one you're going to get when you're at the shop. Um, I don't know if it would be serial number or what on the bottom of the box. Uh, I'm not going to show or, or tell people in the, the video um, if there is a way, because I, I don't know, I've not looked yet, and I don't want to spoil it for the people who do want to go out and just collect them. You know, if you get the buzz of opening stuff. Um, but nah, proper, proper chuffed with them. Um, like I say, big thanks to Masaki for getting them in Japan and sending them over here. I, I proper appreciate that, man. Thanks so much. Uh, thanks as well to Paul, Paul Harris, who put me into contact with Masaki. I say, if it weren't for them too, I won't be able to get these, or I've had to wait for error. And I won't have been guaranteed to get the full set. But now, you know, I've got the full set. I can get them all painted up, hand them towards, towards my Death Guard army. They're going to look sweet on the table. You know, these are going to look, I'm, I'm really looking forward to painting these. Like, I really like painting my Death Guard anyway. I mean, I know I'm more, more like an Ultramarine guy, but my Death Guard, I really like painting them. I'm just, um, I blast through them. I like how they all look different. I like how completely opposite to my Ultramarines they are. But nah, like I say, thanks again for that. I know it's been a different video today, it's been a long video, I think it's the longest video I've ever done. Um, I say thanks for watching, uh, give us a, a like and subscribe if you wouldn't mind. Chuck some comments in on the video uh, about the heads or if anybody knows the names of these characters. I say that would be sweet. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to get these built and uh, I'm going to get them painted in the next couple of weeks. And I'll put you another video of them done. But nah, nice one guys. Have a good day, you know. Hope you enjoy uh, any projects you've got on. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you later.